Now let's proceed to addition and subtraction of polynomials. Now this can be done by arranging the polynomials being added or subtracted in two separate rows and aligning the like terms. Um, ito yung pinakakailangan natin ha, like terms. Dapat alam nyo kung paano mag-identify ng like terms. So it is easier if the like terms are placed in same vertical column. Ayan. So, kagaya niyan, yung mga like terms, eto, x cube, x cube, x cube. So, yung mga like terms naka-align. Okay? Ito naman, x squared, x squared, x squared, naka-align. 5x, alright? Ito mga constants dito. Okay? So, that's adding and subtracting polynomials. For subtraction of polynomials, we change a subtraction operation to addition. Okay, etong tandaan natin. Kapag ka nagsasubtract tayo, we really have to change the operation. Uh, we really have to change the sign of all the terms in the subtrahend. Okay? Yung ima minus natin is change natin lahat ng sign ng mga terms. And then we uh, change the subtraction operation to addition. Okay? Example, we have this polynomial minus this polynomial. So, ang gagawin natin, kukopyahin natin yung first, okay? And then, yung subtrahin, yung isa subtract natin. Instead na subtraction yan, magiging addition. And then, we change everything. We change the signs here. So, yung positive kanina, magiging negative. Yung positive, magiging negative. Positive, negative. Yung negative, magiging positive. And then, we do the addition. Uh, how do we add? Yung i-add lang natin yung numerical coefficients ng mga like terms. Again, mag-a-add lang tayo or mag-subtract ng mga like terms. At saka sa mga like terms, ang i-add at ang i-subtract lang natin ay yung mga numerical coefficients nila. Yung mga numbers. Example, 4 plus 4. Of course, that's 8. 6. Yung 6x minus 3x. Hindi natin papakialaman yung variable. Kokopyahin lang natin yung common na variable. So, that's x. And then, we we uh, perform the operation with the numerical coefficient. So, that's just 6 minus 3. So, that's 3. So, ang sagot, 3x. And then, kokopyahin lang natin yung common x squared. So, that's x squared. Negative 3 minus 5. That's negative 8. Okay. Ito, 5x cubed minus 3x cubed. So, kukopyahin natin yung common na x cubed. Ayan, x cubed. And then, 5 minus 3, that's 2. So, ito na yung sagot niya. Okay? That's the answer. Okay, so let's have an example. Add the following polynomials. We have uh, 6x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 5. And negative 4x cubed plus 4x squared minus x plus 2. So, we have two methods for this. We can add the given polynomials in two ways. So, the long method is yan. Una, we can have horizontal method. So, when we say horizontal method, we need to group like terms. Okay? I-group natin yung like terms. So, una, addition kasi yan. So, we have 6x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 5. Tapos, idudugtong lang natin. Plus, and then, ilagay natin sa um, parenthesis. And then, we have negative 4x cubed plus 4 uh, plus, yun, plus 4x squared minus x plus 2. Okay, parenthesis. Ganun din kahit na minus sign yan, halimbo, subtract. Okay, so minus sign, I -I, um, ilalagay pa rin natin sa loob ng parenthesis. Okay, so eto naman, mag equal sign tayo. And then we are going to group the like terms. Ano ba mga like terms dito? We have x cubed and also x cubed dito. So we have 6x, so magiging 6x cubed. Plus, ito siya, negative 4x cubed. Negative 4x cubed. Um, kasi mahaba ito, lalo na kapag ka horizontal method. Um, isang tip na ginagawa ko is, pa hindi ako malito, um, hindi ko ma-mix, at saka wala akong ma, -ma um, left out na mga terms. Ang ginagawa ko kapag tapos na, uh, nasulat ko na siya, 
Ah, lagyan muna natin ng parenthesis. Kapag ka nasulat ko na siya, then I'm gonna um and put an underline here. Ibig sabihin tapos ko na 'yan. Tapos ko na 'yan. Andito na siya, oh, na-carry ko na 'yan. Lagyan natin ng parenthesis, okay? So next x squared, ito naman x squared. So like term sila. So we have negative minus 2x squared and then plus Lagay natin sa parenthesis. Ito si 4x squared. 4x squared. Ayan. And then, so ito, isang grupo yan kasi sila yung magka-like term. Ito naman, magka-like term sila. So, isang grupo. Okay? And then, we have 3x at saka si negative x. Okay? So, plus 3x plus, okay, then parenthesis, negative x. Then, yung last natin si negative 5. Okay, minus 5. And then, plus yan. And then, lagay sa parenthesis si positive 2. So, 2. Ayan. And take note, sabi ko kanina, ang pwede nating i-add or i-subtract yung mga like terms lang. Kaya, uh, we group them according to their um, kung kung uh, like terms ba sila o hindi. Alright, so unahin natin si 6x cubed plus negative 4x cubed. So, ito sila, oh, lagi, maglalagay muna tayo ng equal sign. Okay? So, since um, this is plus and then negative, kapag uh, kinambay natin yan, magiging 6x cubed. Okay? Plus negative, plus minus, so magiging negative 4x cubed. So, mawawala na si parenthesis. Okay? Aalisin muna natin si parenthesis. Then, minus 2x squared. And then, plus. And then, plus. So, alisin natin si parenthesis. So, magiging plus 4x squared. Plus 3x. Plus 3x. And then, plus negative. So, that is negative x. Okay? Negative 5 or minus 5, and then positive, and then positive, so that's positive 2. Right, so simplify natin. Okay. So, uh, this is where we um, add or subtract the numerical coefficients ng mga like terms. So, equal sign muna tayo. Right, so, eto yung like terms natin unang. Okay. So, papakialaman lang natin yung numerical coefficient. So, we have 6 minus 4. That is 2. So, we have here 2x cubed. Okay, kukopyahin lang natin yung variable at saka exponent nila. Next ng like term natin is negative 2x squared plus 4x squared. So, magiging um, negative 2 plus 4. So, that's positive 2. So, that's plus 2. And then, kopyahin ang common variable and exponent. Next, like term natin ay 3x minus x. So, it's like 1 dito minus 1 yan. So, that's 3 minus 1. So, that's positive 2. So, plus 2. Then, common variable and exponent. That's x. And then, we have negative 5 plus 2. Negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. Okay, ayan. So, check natin kung may mga like terms pa ba. So, we have x cubed, x squared, x, at saka constant. So, wala nang like terms, ano? So, this is now our final answer. So, kapag ka wala nang like terms, wala na tayong masimplify dyan. So, ibig sabihin, yan na yung final answer. Okay? So, this is the horizontal method. The next method naman is... Ayan. The vertical method. Yung vertical method, ganito ang itsura niya. Okay? So, um, ia-align. We are going to make um, alignment, vertical alignment sa mga um, terms, ano? Sa mga like terms. So, kukopihin muna natin. 6x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 5. And then, this is add, okay, addition. So, plus yan, plus. And so, negative 
Ito naman, isa-isahin natin, ilalagay natin kung saan yung kalike niya, kalike terms niya. So, negative 4x cubed, dito siya. So, we have negative 4x cubed, naka-align yan. Plus 4x squared, so dito siya dapat, naka-align. So, plus um, 4x squared. Negative x, dito siya naka-align. So, minus x. And then, we have positive and so, maglalagay tayo ng bar. Ibig sabihin, dito natin ilalagay yung sagot natin. Okay? And so, we have negative 5 plus 2. That is negative 3. Okay? 3x minus x. Kukopihan lang natin yung common. That's x. And then, yung negative dito, ibig sabihin yung minus 1. So, 3 minus 1. That is 2. Positive 2. And then, kukopihan natin yung common, x squared. Right? And so, negative 2 plus 4. So, that's positive 2. And, kopihan natin ng common, x cubed. And then, we have 6 minus 4. And that's positive 2. Kapag ka nasa unahan siya dito, kung positive naman siya, hindi na kailangang ilagay yung positive sign. Okay? Kapag ka yung, siya yung pinakaunang term. Okay, yung pinaka na nasa unahan. Hindi na kailangang ilagay yung positive sign. Pero kapag ka negative, of course, we really have to write negative. Okay. So, ito na yung sagot niya. Okay. Okay, let's have another example. Find the difference. Ito naman, gamitin natin yung vertical. Iba ito kasi kanina yung example is addition. Ito naman is um, difference. So, it's minus, ano, subtraction tayo. And uh, bear in mind, kapag uh, nagsasubtract tayo, we really have to change the signs of our um, subtrahend. Okay? So, kawakupihin mo natin ito. So, that's 7x cubed minus 4x squared minus 3x plus 8 minus um, ito, ilalagay natin kung saan siya, na, saan yung mga like terms, ano? So, 2x cubed, so that's 2x cubed uh, minus 2x squared, so that's minus 2x squared. Kalinya siya dito, x squared. And then, minus 3. So, wala dito, ano? So, dito na kaagad, minus 3. Alright? And so, i-change natin ang sign. So, yung negative, magiging positive yan. So, ilalagay natin. Lagyan natin ng parenthesis. Ibig sabihin, change natin. Ito yung original. Ginawa natin plus. Ito yung plus. Diba, positive yan dyan. Lagyan natin ng positive. Lagyan ng parenthesis. Ibig sabihin, positive siya dati. Ngayon, magiging negative na siya. Yung negative, lagyan natin ng parenthesis. Magiging positive. Yung negative, magiging positive. And then, we solve. So, 8. So, magiging addition na siya, no? So, disregard nyo natin ito dito. Dito na tayo titingin. So, 8 plus 3. So, that's positive 11. Negative 3x. Tapos wala dito. So, that's 0 plus 0. So, that's minus 3x. Ito naman, x squared. So, that's negative 4 plus 2. Magiging negative 2. Okay? And so, that's 7 minus 2. X cube yan. So, 7 minus 2 is 5. So, 5 X cube. My like terms ba? Wala. X cube, X squared, X, and then constants. Okay? So, wala ng like terms. So, this is now our final answer. So, yun lang. Vertical method. Madalas ginagamit ano horizontal method. Okay? Lalo na sa algebra. Sa algebra solving problems, madalas ginagamit talaga yung, uh, yung ganito, horizontal method. Try naman natin yung horizontal method na ganito. Lagay natin or. Or method 2. Okay? So, we have 7x cubed minus 4x squared minus 3x plus 8. And then minus, minus. 2x cubed minus 2x squared minus 3. Okay? 
equal sign tayo dito sa baba. Um, so, kukopyahin lang natin yan. So, 7x cubed minus 4x squared minus 3x plus 8. And then, yung negative sign, um, eto naman, aalisin natin yung parenthesis. Okay? By changing the signs of each term here. Lahat ng terms dito, ito change natin ng signs. So, instead na positive yan, magiging negative. So, aalisin na natin ito. So, kung ano ang sign dito, yun ang lalagay natin dito. So, positive magiging negative 2x cubed. Negative magiging positive 2x squared. Negative magiging positive 3. Ayan na yan. And then, magi equal sign ulit. And then, we... Um, uh, group the like terms, ano? So, we have 7x cubed. Unahin natin yung highest. So, cube, x cube, 7x cube. Uh, yung ka-like term na yung negative 2x cube. So, tapos na natin ito. Lagyan natin ng underline. So, minus 2x cube. And then, negative 4x squared minus 4x squared. May x word pa tayo, alright? Meron. Plus 2x squared. Dapat wala ka maiiwan na term. So, minus 3x, minus 3x, may 3x ba tayo? May x ba tayo? Wala. Okay, proceed. Then, we have plus 8, plus 8, and then we have plus 3. Okay. May naiwan ba? Wala. May naka-underline na lahat. Alright. And so, we simplify, you know? So, pareho sila like terms yan, x cubed. So, 7 minus 2, that's 5. So, that's 5x cubed. Negative 4 plus 2, so that's negative 2x squared. And then we have negative 3x, wala siyang kasama, so negative 3x. Then we have 8 plus 3, that's plus 11. So, ito na yung sagot niya. Alright, and that's it.